this is Randy Santel. Alice and I am very, very excited, but still full from last night's challenge in Port Talbot, where I beat that Burger Boys challenge. Well, we're not too far away now. I'm going for overall win, number 1,126. We are all, my first challenge outside in a long time, of Meg's Grill and Chill. We've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. Yes. Big thank you to the owner, Megan, and then her partner, Chris. Megan has been doing this challenge for, for three and a half years, right? Yes. Yes, and how long has this challenge been going? Since it started. Since they started. They've got a burger challenge as well, but I've only got 45 minutes to become the fourth person to dominate Meg's Welsh Breakfast Sandwich Challenge. Now, they call it two foot on a lot of stuff, but really, it's 28 inches. They've got this massive French tiger baguette. And then we've got pretty much a kilogram of butter uh, all over the bread, which Katina did this challenge before me. She said it was delicious, and I think uh, Adam Beard Meets Food said it was very good. He was actually the first winner. But yeah, my first Welsh breakfast of this trip, we've got five sausages, five fried eggs on top, five rashers of bacon, we've got a whole bunch of beans, five black pudding, some delicious looking mushrooms, and hash browns, yes, I love all the hash browns here. There's five of those. This thing is massive, but yeah, thankfully we've got 45 minutes. The best part about this is I recommend it to everybody just to try this thing. It's got a great time limit, and if you fail, it's only 15 quid. So compliments to Meg for having it only 15 quid. That's why she's had over 60 people attempt this thing. But if I do win, I'll get my entire Welsh breakfast sandwich for free, and I will be the fourth person with my name and photo up on the Wall of Fame here in Bridgend, Wales. Let's get this challenge started. All right, big thanks again to Meg for having us in. We are all here in the parking lot of Wix, which is a hardware store here in Bridgend, Wales. But yeah, Adam Beard Beats Food ruffled a lot of feathers when he did this challenge. When he beat the challenge, he did say... So I, I didn't want to say it, but... It took an Englishman to come down to Wales to beat it. <laughs> Lots of people want to see me beat his 13 minutes and 28 second record today. So I'm doing this not only for the whole country of Wales, all the Welsh people, but also Americans love beating England as well. So let's just do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. One, two, three. Boom. Oh yeah. Well sausage is excellent as well. All right, we've got this in thirds. I'm gonna eat a little bit more of the middles and then get it all down. Sounds bad to say it, but I freaking love sausage. <laughs> We are two minutes and 58 seconds in. I think we got Adam's record beat, especially because, like I said, there's a kilo of butter uh, on this bread. We're gonna use some of these stewed tomatoes. Uh, let's do a black pudding and then we'll start dominating this bread. I haven't got any records in a while because I've been doing challenges that Leah's done and Joel too. Let's beat Adam. Come on, Rusty. Yeah. Ah, six 
minutes and nine seconds in. in case when I dumped if anything fell off. I will say first of all that I am fully aware that Adam was not trying as hard as he could and that he talked a lot but I'm also sure that I crushed his record. I dedicate that to my friend Peter who I met today. He was at Adam's challenge and was very perturbed by Adam saying that it took a Englishman to come down to Wales to finally beat the challenge. So this win is an honor of Peter. The record now is 10 minutes and 44 seconds. I really was trying to actually beat 10 minutes, but that freaking French tiger bread baguette really fought back. I had to use a lot of the tomato juice and water to help get it down. I cannot say enough about how great uh, all of the different components of that sandwich were. Loved the Welsh bacon too. But yeah, that bread, everything. So big thank you to Meg, her partner Chris, everybody here with Meg's Grill and Chill. And thank you all so much for coming. <laughs> even if you don't want to try the breakfast challenge, which you should, because even if you lose, it's only 15 quid. They've got so much food. They're pretty much open every day other than Monday for breakfast and lunch here in Wicks parking lot in Bridgen. But yeah, we didn't leave enough time for Wales and Southern England. So we will be back in 2024 to do a full on Wales and the South half of England tour. But yeah, we are on to London next. But for me today, it was overall victory number 1,126. Lots more videos upcoming, but ooh, not too many more left in this trip, which I am very happy about because I need to go home and diet. But thank you guys for watching.